Well, welcome to Daily Reflection, day six, and we're in the series Christ, uh, Being in Christ. And today, this um, on day six, we're going to be looking at Anchored in Peace. And as we look at the scripture for today, which is Philippians 4, 7, and it says this, And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. You know, this peace, which is often experienced in the midst of turmoil, it defies logic. It's a, a serene assurance that God is in control. You know, despite what's happening around us, we can recall, you can recall times when we felt a deep sense of peace that seemed to defy the circumstances you were in. You know, in this world that's constantly moving, sometimes the most radical thing we do is, is to be still. You know, peace can be elusive when we are caught up in the day's business and worries. Finding that stillness is essential for peace to root itself into our hearts. So why not today uh, intentionally seek out the moment of quiet? Use this time to meditate on scripture that calms your spirit. If anxiety begins to creep in, gently guide your focus back to God's word and his promises. You know, the prayer could be that, Lord, in a world that often feels chaotic, your peace stands as a testament of your presence. So please blanket our hearts with your peace that doesn't uh, waver and isn't dependent on external conditions. Amen. So we need to brace, embrace uh, some affirmations. And this is one that I think is really important, that the peace of God anchors our hearts and our minds in every situation. We choose to dwell in the calm assurance of your love and serenity. Sovereignty, sorry. So let this peace be the anchor for your soul today. And as you live out this day, remember that God's peace isn't something we create, but something we receive and we rest in through our union with Christ. You know, recently in the groups, we've been um, spending time in silence and starting off our meetings with just a uh, let's just hit, listen to what God is saying and rest. And what I do, and I and I know some others do, is while we're in that silence, we have a notepad by and just jot down some of the things that come to mind that we feel are from God. And then afterwards, we chat about it, talk about it. And then also to go and pick up some scriptures that are based around that subject. And as we meditate upon those moments, we begin to hear what God is saying in the peace that he surrounded us with. Because when we dwell in his presence, we certainly get rest. And we certainly become at ease because we are in Christ. So until tomorrow, I shall see you then.